So today we're going to do a little painting and we're going to use our 88 keys to do it in a solo piano format because when you play solo piano you basically have this entire universe at your fingertips and it's your universe you can create anything you want and I was inspired to do this recently I watched a Bob Ross documentary if you don't know who Bob Ross is this guy was famous on like PBS for teaching people how to paint a canvas in half an hour now one of the big differences between what he did and teaching like hundreds of thousands of people how to paint in like an hour you're not going to learn how to paint on this canvas in an hour because and that's what really bothers me about a lot of like stuff that you see on the internet you know learn to play quickly learn jazz without having to learn scales learn jazz without having to learn chords and I don't know make call me old school but honestly I think you have to put some serious effort into the piano and that's what we talk about here on Jazz Mental it's like this is for serious people who want to really improve their playing I mean if you just want to hang out and listen that's cool but if you really want to improve your playing whether you're a guitar player or a drummer or a bass player or horn player or whatever there's a lot of knowledge here on this channel from my I don't know 40 years of experience but what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the concept to you in in Bob Ross's voice so this is my best Bob Ross invitation excuse me if it's not perfect but you should definitely go just YouTube search for Bob Ross how to make a painting in half an hour or whatever and you'll find like literally hundreds of videos for Bob Ross and he's got this big afro and stuff which I don't have but this is kind of his voice and this is how he would explain how to use you know the, the kind of painting mindset to paint a picture with this tune Emily so if you look at the sheet of music that I have on the screen he would basically explain it like this so what you see is a canvas of notes and those notes lead to other notes and you start with tiny little notes and you expand to bigger notes and this is your palette and you can choose any color you want you can choose this color or you can choose this color or this one and when you put all of these colors together and you layer them on top you can make anything you like this is your universe this is your canvas this is your world to play with you bake it what it is and so let's start out with making a little bit of background you know so just and then you might want to add a couple of little shrubs in front Once you have those notes in there and once you get that sort of background together and it's a happy little universe with your keys and you know sometimes you might want to like you, maybe you make a mistake and it's like a happy accident and you play a wrong note and you turn that into dissonance like this you know? So while many of these trees and shrubs and grass and water and birds maybe they didn't all mix together right but you just you just go with it and whatever your fingers land on that's what they land on well that's not actually true it's like it's always good to land on notes that are important but you know there are happy accidents and this is your universe and you can paint any canvas you want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these colors and all of these dissonances We're going 
to finish off with a solo on Emily. And we're going to play the whole song, all the accidents together, all the happy little accidents, all of the notes that fit together sometimes and don't fit together others. And then you're going to make a bold move in the middle and that bold move might be to head into time or head out of time. Let's see what happens with our universe. I'm going to play you the song. It's going to last maybe five minutes. I don't know how long it's going to last. It's, it's my canvas. I can make it whatever I like. And so what I would suggest to you is that after you, you hear this, you go Google Bob Ross and this is how he teaches people how to paint in half an hour. Can you learn to play this in half an hour? Maybe, but if you stick around with me for half a year or maybe a year or so, you're going to pick up a lot. So let me play Emily for you and then I'll come back and say goodbye. Thank you.
So I hope you enjoyed my Bob Ross Happy Universe on Emily. It's such a great piece of music that fits into the Bob Ross psychology of how to perform and how to make a painting and how to make great music. And so I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, you might want to think about subscribing or giving a thumbs up. That'd be super awesome. Have yourself a wonderful day. This has been the joy of solo piano.